One of the great challenges of life is our sexuality. We've been given it in our humanity, and God has given us parameters for the exercising of it. But when that fire leaves the fireplace, stuff starts to burn down, doesn't it? Our own lives, our own guilt, our own relationships, because it's a fire run wild, it has left the compartment that God has created for it, which is, of course, marriage. But I've got good news for you today. God forgives. Throughout the Bible, you see many sexual failures. But you also see the forgiveness and grace of God healing those who have disobeyed him in this area. The Bible makes this a unique sin because it's a covenantal sin. And it affects you and your well-being as well as others who are affected by immorality. One of the great things that God does in the Bible is that he sanctifies sex. He doesn't make it a bad thing. He doesn't make it a negative thing. He calls it a beautiful thing. In fact, there's a whole book that celebrates sex, Song of Solomon. So God is not against it, he's for it. He wants to promote it. He just wants you to have a high view of marriage for it. But when we have operated outside of it and are bearing the consequences of it, and there are many illustrations of that in the Bible, uh, he has a cleaning service. He can clean us up. He can uh, wash us. He can iron us so that we become spiritually pure again and can go on with our lives having been healed of our moral failures. So don't give up on yourself or others who are getting right with God because God knows how to show compassion to the repentant in this area.